like yeah, he's, he's, he's in all, like he's just omnipresent and all this is a taunt buster and to do taunt buster you do potemkin buster but the prc before the damage taunt into potemkin buster now you're probably wondering why would i do this in a stacked bracket well that's because a little demon came up to my shoulder and he said to me do taunt buster the main goal was to come first but the taunt busters were something i gladly accepted and i hope you guys will enjoy how this tournament run went all of the games <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what the hell? Part back Megafest gets two asks. Oh, what is oh, this? No. Up next, I have to fight Dylan in round three of Winter State. And if you guys don't know, Dylan is the five time in a row champion of every Scottish local or major at that time. So this was a big deal to be matched up with him so early. The seeding kind of screwed up, and I had to take on a champion. The goal, Tom Buster, was off the table. But this win was so important to me. I had to take this. No way that you can hide from the best. I'm a mess. Side body, anything that take a breath on my left. There's a pile of body bigger than myself, and on my right, it's a hundred scared souls screaming hell. And they scatter trying to get away, but they gon' meet they in the day, cause they no way they ever had a chance to contend with me. I was feeling confident. However, there was one thing that I did not expect, and that is Dylan's sheer tenacity to not die. In this next set, I was actually up 2 old. The score was wrong. This was set point. So the fact that Dylan was able to do this was main boggling. Dylan just kept building momentum and momentum, it was hard to deny it and all of a sudden it was on me to make the comeback because he tied it up 2-2. Two two. Thank god I know it's one of his habits though and that was calling our HPB. It was down to the wire. It was genuinely any man's game from here on out. It sucked to lose this early on, but on the plus side we gave the people a very entertaining match to watch and the crowd was popping off. Dylan got to continue on to fight winner semis and I was knocked down to loser's bottom 16. So essentially I had a rough bracket ahead of me and I had to do best with what I could. But all of a sudden the greatest light shined upon me as I realised I got to fight in the Potemkin mirror. And I remembered something I've still to fulfil in this video. And that was the Taunt Buster. Editor, cue the music.
I was ecstatic that I was actually able to land the Taunt Buster in a tournament of this caliber. And uh, I was asking my thoughts for afterwards. Combo. It's so <laughs> BM. Uh, uh, like, I think I may. <laughs> you think you may? Oh, like, don't go for it. That's uh, terrifying. I mean, it's kind of funny though, isn't it? <laughs> That's the, that's the inspiration you have. It's just about I made my way into top 8, but all of a sudden, there was another Potemkin waiting to meet me. And this was Reinhardt. He's one of the brothers. And uh, yeah, I was excited to fight him. Before going into the fight, I had a little proposition for him. And I've got to say, I think the crowd really loved it. Here we are. Oh, oh that's the respect. Okay. <laughs> At this part, he told me that he's seen my stream switch. By the way, follow and subscribe. Oh! You can't Kill do this it man! Again. Take him out! Yeah. Take him out! Just heal the That's villain! That's it! Punish him for his hubris! That's it, right heart! This guy up, please! Let's go! Very well done! Well deserved! Well done! Well deserved. That's what happened! Love to see it! Instant karma! Oh. I was being tread like a villain, and I loved the energy the crowd was giving me. I felt like a heel wrestler. For it again. He didn't want to go for it again. What a game! Unfortunately, my next match with Pizza Time wasn't streamed, but I'd love to have seen that. But anyway, my next match was going to be actually in Loser's Semi-Finals, where I was back on stream, and I was up against the Bridget Man Leo, who gives me a lot of trouble in brackets, so this was one of my personal demons that I had to beat. Had to make a comeback happen now, otherwise I'd be down 2-0 and I would be regretting the rest of the set. I made the comeback, but I wasn't done with my devious acts. Oh, 
no. No, he just. Oh, that's what he decides to do. I shouldn't have and said it. And there we go. I shouldn't have said it. Uh, what, what a terrible person. Oh what, my God. what a terrible. Boo I, this man. Boo. Boo. Feel bad about yourself. Mm. That's it. Oh, getting it. Getting it was a good, it was a good match, though. It was good at that. Having the pop off of my voice supporting me, and not only that, having some members of the crowd boo me, honestly gave me energy. It was awesome. It felt like, I, again, like I was a heel wrestler. But up next, I had to fight the gender baby. It was a pretty solid, solid testament made, I would say, throughout Europe. And it was a very difficult fight. So uh, this was something I was kind of looking forward to, but well aware of the stakes. Very consistent so far, but like, oh, oh. Gonna have some tricks. There it is. There, there, there it is. Okay. There it okay. Is. Finally, use some air. Needless to say, I would still be trying like the villain. So I went for one last villainous act. Ooh, that's the 5P. Oh, fuck it. He tried it. He tried it. He tried something. And there's the round. Oh my goodness. Well played by everybody. So we get another pot matchup. That great. I love this. I've just got to say before we go into this final set is that this is the probably the most tense set I've ever played of Yelly Gear in my life. And that if you guys have been enjoying it so far, be sure to like and subscribe because this was genuinely fun to make and this story was so fun. And maybe I might aim for something like this again. But yeah, Dylan was my final opponent and I had to make something happen. Yeah. Um, Looks like leaving them hanging. Leaving them hanging. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be a slight amount of mind games going on here. That's it, yeah, no. As you can tell, this was extremely back and forth. So I'm just gonna let the rest of the match tell you everything you need to know.
this was a final round double Luigi situation. You can get more tense. I think he's, I think he's dead. I think he's dead. His wall break. Should be, yeah. We've reset the bracket. We've reset the bracket. I press this reset button. I add a little L to Dylan. You've both been dragged down to the loser side. Everybody. It was still close, but Dylan was on a roll. Things were looking dire, but if I can make this come back off of this, okay, this is the situation that I need. This Karagaru- Oh, that is it. That's hey, it. That is it. He didn't want heat Dylan tackle. Eccles. Dylan Eccles. This move cost me possibly the tournament. What a huge dough. Oh, Everybody's let's happy. Go. Let's go. I don't have to hear about how pot That's is top it. one. The pot server is safe, but shout yeah. out to Patriot Panda for pulling that, that back to the wire. It was a very, it was oh, a very good match. my God. <laughs> what, what? In my tournament run, and uh, Dylan is the one who takes it six times now. Well, it was a fun one. You gotta do Tom Buster. All my objectives are met. Man, if only there was an opportunity to get back at Dylan. Yeah, a big tournament major is happening sometime soon this August 16th. <laughs>